Marquesac is notable for the number of boxwood trees from the 19th century. So this park is an amazing garden of 150,000 boxwood trees planted 150 years ago. This uh, park is at the present moment the most visited garden in Aquitaine. We welcomed last year more than 190,000 visitors in Marquesac. Now, it's a private own. Marquesac is a private own. The owner is called Mr. Kleber Rossillon. So we are very high in the middle of the Dordogne Valley, we, which is why we call this garden the Overhanging Gardens. 54 acres park, 37 acres open to the public, 6 kilometers of walk enable the public to enjoy this park. So you can see from here four chateaux. On your left, Castelnau Castle. Just in front of us, Feyrac Castle. Feyrac Castle is a private owned American people own this chateau of Feyrac, just in front of us, on the foreground. On the background, it's an hotel, the, the white one. Can you see it? The chateau, the white one is an hotel, situated on the border of the world between here and Beynac. And uh, on your right, Beynac Castle. Uh, so, the village where you are uh, the heat. Here it is. And uh, here, uh, Marquesac, the fifth one in the Dordogne Valley. This chateau was built at the end of the 18th century. It's not really a chateau, because Marquesac has always been an agricultural estate. So you have seen on the first terraces the outbuildings of this agricultural estate, and you can see here the master house. It's a mansion. It's smaller than a chateau. Of course, you have noticed the roof. This is the traditional kind of roofing made in Perigord. And this roof is made up of lime stone slabs called lows. Lows. The lows are limestones, local stones. This roof is wear out by the effect of the time today. So we are in restoration. And this roof is in res restoration. Three years ago, the restoration works started in Marquesac, three years ago. And uh, uh, we used five years to restore all the roof. <laughs> they must change all the stones on this roof. This the yes, this side is the new one, and the other side is <laughs> the old, unrestored. So you can see the difference. Uh, there was one inconvenient in using stones on the roof due to the weight. This roof weighs about 300 tons. 300 tons. To hold such a weight, two requirements. First, a solid roof frame made of oak. Under these stones, the original roof frame made of oak from the 18th century, uh, reused for the restoration. And secondly, as the roofs are very weight in this region, uh, a part, um, as the roof has very weight, uh, the, uh, the roofs is very, are very steep, and the pa a part of the weight was distributed on the walls. So the walls carried a lot of the weight. That's why we have very wide walls in that sort of house or chateaus in this region. Expensive works to restore that sort of a stone of roof. Uh, the owner spent here one and a half millions to restore all the roof. Before the arriving of the designer of this park, it was here, the kitchen garden. Instead of this very pleasing and charming garden you see in front of you today. Julien de la Vergne de Serval inherited of Marquesac in 1861. 
He was passionate uh, in botany and he dedicated the last 30 years of his life to the beautification of his agricultural estate. And since this date, he had relentlessly planted boxwood trees in his garden. Tens of thousands of boxwood trees were planted during the second half of the 19th century. Can you imagine that most of them are now 150 years old? Mm. So it's really an amazing park. So two influences and French influences and, and romantic and Italian influences in this park. So today the shapes you see are modern creation and the rolling aspect and the rounded aspect of the boxwood give Marquesac softness and romanticism. And that contributes to the harmony that the garden has with the hills of the Dordogne Valley. So it's really a painting of the landscape. And we are in a picturesque and romantic garden from the 19th century.